Uh, work from home day 10. We made it to double digits, 10 episodes. Um, also, just before we start this episode, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's reached out uh, saying super positive things about these videos. Um, I massively appreciate it. I'm not trying to change the world. I'm not trying to become a vlogger. I'm not trying to, um, you know, make this a, uh, I probably won't do this forever. Um, I just think it's a, it's a fun way to kind of, uh, highlight some of the shoes that, you know, uh, I've been privileged and, and blessed to have and, um, show a little bit of uniqueness and give people some content to consume during, um, during this work from home and during this indoor season. Um, it's, it's strange time. And, um, you know, anytime somebody reaches out saying, Hey, I love your videos, uh, it means a tremendous amount. So thank you very much. Um, with that being said, we are continuing cleaning out my Corona closet. Um, uh, I think I've shown a fairly good variety of product thus far. And now that we're hitting number 10, uh, I want to show off, uh, one of my favorite brands. Um, and that is Freeman Platt. Um, shout out to Jeremy. Um, he is the owner, um, he is also the creative director, or design director at uh, Puma Hoops. Um, he's got an incredible career, um, but he also started this brand, um, Freeman Platt, um, that really was pushing the design aesthetic between formal wear uh, and casual athleisure, um, really pushing the limits, and that's why I own about four pairs of their styles. Uh, they are pricey, but um, they're totally worth it. So this style is called the Quarter Jogger. Uh, they just released a new colorway the other day. Um, I recommend you folks look into it if you haven't heard of them. Uh, they're made uh, in Portugal. They're made in Italy. I think the new ones are made in Italy. These are made in Portugal. Uh, really, really focused on craftsmanship, a lot of detail. Um, I first discovered Freeman Platt through Concept Kicks. So I figured I'd wear my Concept Kicks hat. Uh, shout out Dan. Um, but, um, yeah, Freeman Platt's one of those brands that really encompassing, encompasses everything I believe in, uh, doing things, you know, uh, out of the norm and, um, pushing, pushing, uh, the aesthetics with different, different features and stuff. Uh, they have the slogan, it's even on the bottom. These, these have been worn a couple times to a couple weddings, so I apologize. It's going to take me a second to read it. Um, God sells us all things at the price of labor, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So, um, you know, meaning that, you know, if you want anything in life, all you got to do is work for it flat out. I think in 2020, we're at an age where there are no excuses. Uh, and the only thing holding you back is yourself um, or the excuses that you make. Um, and so if you want to work for something, you can go do that. Um, so I love the brand. Um, I love that it's a it's a platypus as the uh, logo, which is super cool. Um, you don't see that very often. Um, and on top of that, they also have uh, FTM, uh, ITM, which is fuck the man, I'm the man. Um, not necessarily gentrifying it or anything, or gentrifying or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, focusing on man versus woman. I don't know. This is going to go awkward. Um, but like from a holistic perspective of, of you know, don't take shit from anybody, um, you know, you are your greatest asset. Um, and so as long as you keep pushing yourself forward, uh, nobody else can get in your way. Uh, and I think that's really powerful as well. So um, with that being said, let's dive real quick uh, into some of the details. I am a big fan of tassels. Look at that shit. Um, really awesome. Honestly, you probably wear this with a hoodie and a cap and some like dr slacks and stuff like that and you'd be a rock star. Um, I love the 3M. Uh, it's got reflective kind of uh, lining there. Um, so, and then also in the toe with the dots, uh, that seems to be their signature. Um, you know, you have the suede leather, you have the leather, so leather sole, you have the rubber pods. Um, it's really worn out there, but you have the platypus and then you have the God sells us all things at the price of labor down there. Um, I have some less worn product uh, that we'll get into in later episodes. Um, I do, like I mentioned, uh, I wear these to a lot of weddings. Uh, these are my go-to. I really love them. They, they turn heads. People ask questions. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. I mean, really high quality. You can see a lot of the stitching details. Uh, really comfortable. Uh, doesn't take much time to break in. Um, so, again, 
Shout out to Jeremy. Shout out Freeman Platt. Uh, go cop yourself a pair. I think the new style is actually only two hundred fifty dollars, um, which I know is is higher end, but um, but some of these other styles were three fifty before. Um, so take a look. Um, thanks for the support, um, Freeman and, and Jeremy, and uh, massively appreciate these styles. Uh, again, always pushing the limits. Big fan. All right, that is episode ten. We'll stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. I'm going to launch the yesterday's, today's, and then uh, tomorrow's all at the same time over the weekend versus constantly uploading them every single day. Um, so just bear with me um, and stay tuned. Peace.